Hello, I'm Dr. Murray Markman from Cancer Treatment Centers of America, and I wanted to briefly um, discuss uh, a very important event uh, in the oncology world, and specifically for patients uh, diagnosed now or in the future with uh, metastatic or unresectable malignant melanoma. And this is the approval by the FDA of a new targeted therapy for the treatment of metastatic melanoma. Uh, in individuals who have a documented BRAF V600E mutation. It should be noted uh, that uh, approximately half of the patients with malignant uh, melanoma uh, have the a BRAF mutation. So clearly uh, this approval of uh, bemurafenib is a very important advance uh, for a substantial percentage of patients with this uh, very difficult malignancy. Uh, the results of the phase three randomized trial recently reported uh, showed uh, a really uh, impressive improvement in response rates, survival, quality of life for the individuals who were treated with the experimental drug compared to the control arm, a drug used for several decades with very little activity, that is DTIC. I think the results of this trial and the approval by the FDA clearly uh, demonstrate once again uh, how we are entering a, uh, an era, a brand new, you could even call a revolutionary era, where treatment will be based in oncology increasingly on demonstrated molecular abnormalities present within uh, the tumors of patients. We are in the era of genomic medicine as it relates to cancer treatments. Uh, the data that led to the development of this trial and now the approval of the drug uh, really does, however, um, make us ask some important questions. First, and particularly as regards to this drug, one must ask, was it necessary to do a phase three randomized trial with uh, survival as an endpoint when the phase one data even demonstrated that uh, the drug was uh, substantially better than anything that had been seen before in the uh, treatment of malignant uh, melanoma. It's a question to ponder. It's certainly a question for uh, our society, our medical community, and uh, the FDA to consider. One also uh, obviously uh, needs to ask the question, what happens next? There are a number of tumor types, including lung cancer, where uh, BRAF mutations are noted. Uh, is it reasonable to speculate? Is it reasonable to treat patients uh, with these uh, malignancies in the documented presence of a BRAF mutation, uh, specifically, specifically considering the, uh, the incredible potency, the effectiveness of this new drug in this particular setting. And finally, of course, uh, the question comes up of uh, the costs of these agents. Uh, there's nothing about this drug that makes it more expensive than other novel targeted therapies that have recently been approved. But of course, uh, this uh, once again uh, raises the question of uh, uh, can we afford as a society these very expensive drugs? Um, and the answer, of course, uh, is not simply provided by yes or no, uh, but it is a discussion that our society uh, must uh, continue uh, to uh, consider and ponder and ultimately come up with um, solutions because these new drugs, these important new drugs, they're substantially impacting the quality of life, survival of our patients, are not inexpensive, and the cost of medical care is clearly something that on the minds of, of uh, all members of our society today. Um, I thank you for your attention. Uh, this is a very important day, a very important announcement and in particular for patients with uh, metastatic melanoma, uh, the approval of this drug uh, may help uh, a very large percentage of patients uh, in, their, um, in their struggle and their fight um, with uh, cancer. Thank you for your attention.